Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. I hope you are doing well. Let me know below how your week is going for us here when I'm recording. It is Tuesday, August the 22nd. It's actually my husband and my husband and mine. It's our anniversary, 26 years. I've known him for 30 years. There's a lot going on today, so I want to give you snippets of that. We'll check on Sophie. Last video where I left you guys, I gave you the video where she was going to the hospital because of her eye. So let's go check on Sophie. I'm going to get you guys. Hold on. It's way past breakfast. I was waiting for one of our volunteers, Amy, to come and help bring them in. So we have Blue in. Say hello, Blue. Buddy will say hello. Hi, buddy. You ready for some more hay? And then Sophie. She still has her fly mask on. Hi, hey, sweet girl. So there's gonna be some like wet that comes from that eye. It's her right, and so you're looking on your left though. And because the medicine drips into that and she can actually feel it go in. So I just gave her her meds. She's had breakfast. Now she's resting under the fan. Things that are happening today. My trainer is coming. I noticed some things with Amber, one of our horses that I haven't cleared I mean, she works with the youth, but I haven't completely cleared her for a lot of what we do here. So I've just noticed some things with her that she gets spooked about things, um, picks up energy that's happening in the arena and not focusing in on her leader, which is not <laughs> good. You want your horse to be basically safe. You want your horse to have confidence. They are flight animals and things tend to spook them. But if, as you build their confidence, then that cuts down the risk of them freaking out they actually get better control of their um you know they're they're responding not reacting that's a good way to put it and so that's where i want her to get to the point where she responds but doesn't react to something so we're going to do some groundwork you'll get to see that this is amber hey sweet girl she's had a pretty um kind of rough start to her life and um <laughs> she was bred she's a wops appaloosa so those are the things we need to work on. See how she does her head and she bumps into a human. You're not supposed to bump into a human. I know. And see how she's nervous. And so we're working on all those things. I gotta tighten that. That's not up in the right spot. We use um, um, training halters, but I need one that just has two knots. Not all, she doesn't need all these knots. She's already sensitive. You need less knots on your halter. So I'm just gonna con continuously ask her to give me my space. She's so great, really great with the youth. She picks up, she's very empathetic. Like she picks up, if you've seen Baymax, uh, Big Hero 6, you know, scanning now, that's kind of what she does. You, you're a scanner, yeah. You pick up on what's going on with people. So we just need to work on you not being so nervous. Yeah. So there are forward moving horses. There's personality in horses. So we're gonna work with that today. Not just in fixing her, but me as a leader, I need to know if I'm communicating to her correctly or if I'm doing something that's causing um, issues, you know, future issues with her. So um, she likes to move her feet, so we will do a lot of that and then we'll get her to be able to stand. But my trainer is great and she will help with all that. She has eyes looking in, feet on the ground, which I'll have my feet on the ground too. But typically I'm on her back and she's the feet on the ground giving me um, you know, what I need to do. But anyway, long story, that's just the importance of building a confident horse and a confident leader, giving the tools that we need to help her feel safe and confident and fulfill her purpose, right? Because you do have a purpose, you know that? Yes, you do. I know, isn't that awesome? We have the same creator. Yes. Mm. Now, if she cuts off to the side, same thing. Okay. Her job is to stay right behind the leader. Okay. Okay, here you go. It's a firm, distinct get back. Don't be wishy washy. what you want that's good she's like okay you need to go you're teaching my mom new things okay so bring her in and tell her she's a good girl there we go and give her some 
to love. So Shannon, when this horse is going, stand still. Only when the horse stops are you going to change what you do. Barely pressure, like the air. Mm-hmm. I've gotten. Just rem yeah. Just remember, it's hair, skin, yeah, muscle, bone. Don't stay in bone. Right. The minute they start to move, go right back to a hair. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm not sure how, what kind of video I'm gonna get out of that, like how I'm going to put everything together, but basically we were trying to teach Amber to connect, to be connected. Look at this cat. Did you find a spot back here? Anyway, to be, to build confidence, like I said, number one, and then to also have her um, be connected and not worry about everything else that's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and finish my day, I gotta pack an order and get that out to the post office. Thanks for watching and subscribing and liking all those things. We appreciate it. It really helps our farm and helps us grow here. Be blessed until next time, guys. See you then. Bye.